What are you doing? You got goals. How you doing there, lads? Coming at you with another video. Today's video, guys, I'm going to be showing you guys my new winter daily. Uh, you know, just to get back and forth to uh, work and whatnot. And just because my car is, uh, is stored for the winter, I will show you guys that too. Are you guys ready? Drum roll, please. Okay, I don't know why I did that. That was really cold. That was very stupid. Yeah, now that I have frostbite in my hand, here she is. She's not a bad machine, I'll tell you that. She ain't a bad machine. Obviously, it's, it's nothing special. It's just a winter beater. I'm gonna be driving for the winter. Like, obviously, it has its rust. Not even, like, it's not even rust. It's just starting to come through, but it's actually surprisingly well. The body-wise is surprisingly well. Had its fair share, obviously, but, like, you know, going around, it's really not bad of a truck. This spot right here that I'll show you, this is the worst spot. Obviously, that's pretty bad. I should probably fix that before it gets even worse. You'll probably see a video on that maybe sometime this week. So what the truck is, it's a 2006 Ford F-150 XLT. It has the 4.6 liter V6, I believe. And the kilometers are where this thing, <laughs> it's gonna shock you. This thing has 365,000 kilometers on it. Still runs mint, runs like a dream. Like, well besides, the transmission isn't the strongest, but like, It'll definitely get me through the winter and be useful for what I what I bought it for, basically. What else? Truck's completely stock. You know, I don't want to do anything to it just to fuck with. There's no point. It's bone stock V6 truck, right? There's no point of lifting it or doing anything wild like that. Like, body's pretty good on it. I'm surprised. I'm very surprised. Now, my main reason behind getting this truck is because... The winters we have here are unreal. Like, they're absolutely insane. We get so much snow every week, and it's just ridiculous. And obviously, a Beamer wouldn't do too well in that type of weather, so we got her stored away. Let me just show you how much snow we got. Fuck, this is from not even two weeks. Like, I don't think you guys realize how much snow is really there. This is a king-size kickstart can, right? Let me just put up here for reference. Fucking look at that. That's ridiculous. Beamer, no good, no good. Not for winter. So I'll take you guys to where over my car is being stored. Gotta trek through this madness. So this is her resting place for the winter as you can see. And here's my baby being stored for winter in her hibernation. Man, I can't wait until spring to get this thing out. I have so many plans for this guys and I'm just making this video basically for a little update video. I want to get into YouTube and start taking it seriously. Like, I'm only on my iPhone 7 right now. That's why it's so zoomed in. I have to stand so far back. I can, like, I can't even get far enough back, right? But what I want to do is, like, when I get my paycheck, when I start saving up, I want to get a nice camera, start taking this shit seriously. Car reviews, uh... Build. I want to build an engine for this thing actually. I, want to, I have all sorts of plans, guys. Now, what this car is for people who haven't seen it before, it's a 2004 BMW 325ci. And it isn't much yet, but like like I said, I just need to get the funds together. And once it starts getting warmer out, we can just start diving into this thing. Now, this engine that's in this car currently, it does have around 240 ish thousand kilometers. So, you know, it. It isn't the youngest engine, but we're going to find out how capable it is for um, boost. Basically, we're going to get an eBay turbo kit, fucking bolt her on, see what she can do. Obviously, get a tune because I don't want to blow my shit up like on purpose, but yeah, I want to see how much uh, how much boost she can take. I only want to run like 8 to 10 is plenty for this car because they already make such high compressions that you don't need much boost at all to make them pretty fucking quick. Yeah, anyways, that's where she is for the winter currently. I've also had thoughts about um, going to a pick and pull yard and pulling an exact engine out of an old car that's wrecked and building that inside the garage, but I don't know. I haven't decided yet. 
the main reason behind that being, um, I don't know, I just want to go through like the stages of the um, stages of the car, right? So I can feel the progress. Like, okay, around 190 horsepower stock, pretty slow right now, right? But then boost, I should be able to make close to 300 with like the eBay Turbo Kit, and then just go up and up. You know what I mean? Sort of that sort of thing. Hey, hey, what are you doing? 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 She's a wild one, that one. Watch out for her. <laughs> what are you doing? What are you doing? Anyway, going back to the truck over here. Another big reason why I purchased this truck is because, obviously, it has a truck bed. So, what we're thinking here, go to the pick and pull yard if we do decide to. At least that'll, I'll have that option to, right? Pull the engine out with the engine, uh, engine hoist, plop her in, drive her home, call it a day. I don't think about it, I don't know. I think I will go ahead and do that engine build on the side and maybe I'll do both. I think that's a good idea actually now that I think about it. Yeah, I'm gonna do both I think. It'll bring a lot of um, bring a lot of content to the channel while uh, waiting for the eBay kit to come in, right? And during the winter I can, right here in my garage here, I can just fucking build it right in the corner, right? It doesn't mean I, it has to go in right away. I can still do my eBay turbo kit and then once it fucks up, throw that engine in and then I'll have a engine ready to go in there's no rush so yeah i think that's a very good idea what we gonna do also something to look out for on the channel if i can convince my mom to let me ride her sled get her going and shit maybe we'll do some cool shit with that too make some jumps and send her buddy send her yeah here's the truck anyway i just wanted to give you guys a little update video tell you what's going on and uh what to look out for so I hope y'all enjoyed. I would tell you to subscribe, but fuck that, because if you enjoyed, you're going to subscribe anyway. Big old cheers. We out.